The next day at college, the young walked into Wine's classroom, his presence commanding attention as always. He approached Miss Kim with his usual calm demeanor. I need those files, the young said, his voice steady. Miss Kim handed him the files without hesitation and as the young turned around, his eyes subtle drifted to Wine. Who was seated towards the back of the classroom, he lingered for a moment, his gaze fixed it on her before walking out. Five minutes later, the young re entered the classroom. Miss Kim looked up surprised by his quick return. Here's your file, he said, handing it back. Miss Kim frowned. Did you finish your work already? The young did not respond directly. Instead, his eyes again found wine, as if he had come back just to see her. It was becoming apparent that his frequent visits were more than just coincidence. Wine? The young twist cut through the classroom. Are you sleeping? Vine was sitting next to Jimin, who immediately spoke up. Sir, Vine is crying. The young's expression shifted to one of concern as he quickly approached her. What happened to Vine? He asked, very evident in his tone. Miss Kim interjected. She's been talking to Jimin since the class started. I scolded her and now she's been crying. The young knelt beside Vine's desk. His voice so free but firm. Vine, you can talk during break. Now come on, stop crying. Jimmy nudged Vine gently. Vine, listen to sir. The young stood up looking at Vine with a mix of frustration and empathy. Get up, Vine, go wash your face quickly. But Vine remained unresponsive, her tears continuing to fall. The young sighed, realizing he need to handle this differently. With a determined look, he gently took Vine's arm and carried her out of the classroom. Once outside, away from the prying eyes of the other students, the young stopped and turned to Vine. Vine, stop crying. Look at your face. You have, ma you have made such a mess. Vine looked up at him, her face wet with tears. Miss scolded me a lot. She sobbed. Things expression softened further. Okay, but stop crying now. You look even worse when you cry. He said, attempting to lighten the mood with a teasing tune. One, how I started crying even harder. Things I was in alarm. I was just choking. Vine, come on, stop crying. He reached out, taking her hand in his. I really don't like seeing tears in your eyes. He says softly. When Tehyung guessed Vine's hand, she was suddenly shocked. It was as if time stopped. She could not even breathe. For the first time, she felt her heart beating so fast. Come on, Vine, let's go back to class. Tehyung said his voice sent earlier for him. Vine noticed, still dazed, and walked back into the classroom. The rest of the lesson passed by in a blur for her. She could not stop thinking about the moment Tehyung held her hand. It was such a small gesture, but... The, it had a huge impact on her. Finally, the bell rang, signaling the end of the school day. Vine quickly gathered her things and left the classroom with Jimin. As they walked home together, Jimin could not help but to tease her. Vine, what kind of magic have you caused on Sir Taehyung? He asked, a mysterious glint in his eyes. Vine rolled her eyes. Jimin, I have messaged him so many times, but he still has not replied. Jimmy love you, silly girl. He's per he's per barely busy. Not everyone is as free as we are. Vine's curiosity got the better of her. Busy? Busy with whom? Maybe a girlfriend? Who knows? Jimmy is laughing. Vine sighed dramatically. God, I hope no one has a friend like you. Jimin's face lit up as he had an idea. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go to Sir Taehyung's apartment. Vine has still for a moment, but then again, all right, let's do it. The two of them made their way to Taehyung's apartment. When they reached his door, Vine took a deep breath before knocking. It took a few moments, but even sleep. Taehyung opened the door, looking surprised to see them. Is everything all right? He asked. His bro frowned with concern. Vine quickly blurted out, actually we were heading home after studying and thought to we will say hello. Sorry if we are disturbing you sir, we will see you tomorrow, bye sir. <laughs> Jimin could not hold back his laughter. you lie so much Vine. 
thing look between them clearly suspicious i just change out of my clothes don't go anywhere you do while looked at the young time to keep her voice steady no sir you can go rest just please reply to my message sometimes with that they both turned and left heading back down the street as they walked even could not help but to scold her playfully you are so rude blaming everything on me wine he said shaking his head while love be grateful i did not tell him what you said earlier As Wan and Jimin continued walking home, Wan could not help but to let her thoughts wander back to Taehyung. Finally, she turned to Jimin, her mind made up. Jimin, I have been thinking. She said, her voice hesitant. Should I propose to Sir Taehyung again? Jimin immediately responded with enthusiasm. Yes, yes, absolutely. You should propose to him again. But what if something goes wrong? Wan asked, very evident in her voice. Don't worry, Jimin reassured her. It's clear from the way he looks at you that he has feeling for you. Wan's curiosity got the better of her. Should I propose at the college? Jimin nodded vigorously. Yes, definitely. They spent the rest of the walk home making plans, and by the time they reached their home, Wan felt a mix of excitement and nervousness. The night she could not stop thinking about her plans to propose to Taehyung. The next day she was filled with a nervous excitement, imagining how he might react. Morning came all too quickly, and Wan found herself at the college, her heart racing with anticipation. In class, Jimin nudged her. Wan, get up, sir is about to leave. Wan, whis- he whispered urgently. I'm so scared. Wan admitted, her voice trembling. Jimin rolled his eyes. Was he to be scared of? Just tell sir to adopt you. Vain ko choti bachi samajta hua Jimin. Vain slapped Jimin on the shoulder. Stop joking around. I am already so nervous. Jimin laughed, trying to lighten the mood. Come on, you proposed to him once when I was not even around. You can do it again. Vain shook her head, feeling the tears well up. It's all your fault, Jimin. I'm going to cry. Jimin sighed, realizing she was genuinely upset. Okay, okay, it's all my fault. Just stop crying, all right? You can propose tomorrow, or you know, jump into a lake and end it all. He said jokingly. Wan gave him a weak smile. What if Sir says he does not love me? I could never face him again. Jimin sighed deeply. Wan, you are putting both of us in trouble. To be continued.